Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A web browser is a software application used to make navigating the internet easy for the user by providing a graphical user interface or GUI GUI, so that the user can click menus, icons, or buttons rather than learn difficult computer commands. It's also called a web client because the browser application resides on the client computer or the computer of the individual who's using it rather than residing on an actual web server. Internet Explorer is a web browser made by Microsoft that allows the user to view web pages when they are connected to the internet. Internet Explorer is installed on most computers with a Windows operating system. You can easily identify the browser by its icon. Internet Explorer's icon is a large blue E. You may also see a button for it appear in your Quick Launch toolbar or on the Windows taskbar. To open Internet Explorer, either double-click on the Internet Explorer icon on your desktop, click the button in the Quick Launch toolbar or the Windows taskbar, or select Start, choose All Programs, and then select Internet Explorer from the Start button. When the browser window opens, you will find the window to be similar to many of the other windows that you've opened. There is a title bar at the top of the window that will tell you what page you're looking at. At the far right are the three buttons to minimize, maximize or restore, or close the browser window. The next bar contains the navigation buttons that allow you to move back and forth through the web pages that you've visited. The large white text box is the address bar. This bar displays the web page address of the page on screen. You can type in the address of any page you want to go to here and then click the go button that appears at the end of the bar or press enter on your keyboard to go to the web page address that you have entered. In the center of the window is where you will view the actual web page. Often you will find scroll bars at the right and bottom of this area so that you can scroll through and see the entirety of the web page. While you may often enter web page addresses into the address bar in order to visit websites that you're familiar with, you may also need to search the web for web pages that may contain content that you are looking for. To do this in Internet Explorer 8, which comes with many Windows 7 computers, you can simply enter the words or phrases for which you want to find matching web pages into the search box in the upper right corner of the window. Then click the search button to display a listing of related hyperlinks that you can click in order to view the web page shown. As you move from page to page, you can use the back and forward buttons that appear in the upper left corner of the window to move from page to page. So that way you could go back to your results and then try a different hyperlink if needed. You can also right click on a link that's shown and simply choose the open in new tab command to open the web page in a separate tab within Internet Explorer 8. You can then click between the open tabbed windows within the program so that you can easily keep information in view. You can close any tabbed page within the program by simply clicking the small X button that appears at the right end of any tab shown. Also note that if you are trying to find specific text within a web page that is displayed within Internet Explorer, just select the Find on Page command from the small drop-down that appears to the right of the search button. That will open a Find dialog box where you can enter the text to find on the page.
You can then click the Previous and Next buttons to jump to the different occurrences of the selected text within the page. You can then click the X button to close the Find dialog box when you're finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.